making some vegan Parmesan with uh, cashews. And the ingredients are one cup of raw cashews, not soaked. And we've got a fourth of a cup nutritional yeast and just a tiny little squirt of lemon, salt and pepper to taste. So first we start off with the cashews, just put them in your food processor, Vitamix, whatever you've got. Nutritional yeast, this is what gives it the cheesy flavor. And literally you will never go back to eating regular Parmesan cheese again. This is unbelievable. gives it the little tiny ball textures of like a feta or parmesan. Super easy. And you've got a really dry parmesan cheese. Put this to the side. This is going to go on top of your uh, raw vegan pesto pasta we're going to make. Also add salt and pepper just to taste. You can do it in the processor. I usually do a tablespoon. Uh, that's what gives it that salty kind of cheese Parmesan flavor is if you kind of use a lot of salt. Um, you can always modify, use less salt. There you go, stir in the salt. Now we're going to make the pesto. Okay, the ingredients for this are going to be a fourth of a cup of the cashews soaked for about an hour. Remember when you soak seeds, it makes all the nutrients just ready for your body to use. So we just pour that in there. I also just went and got a little package of basil. I trimmed it, put the leaves in. Now basil is actually really, really amazing. I call it nature's natural Xanax. It's anti-anxiety, lowers um, stress, and um, really great antibacterial. You can put it on wounds. You can put it on... Um, It'll basically, if you don't buy organic, it kills all the pesticides and everything from a non-organic food because it's so antibacterial. And uh, the garlic we're going to add also does that. So we have two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I love that stuff. And then half a garlic. Now raw garlic is really, really strong. So it's always better just to add little, little bit. Then I do lemon to taste. I mean, I like a lot of lemons, so I've got here a quarter of a lemon. I'm probably going to do another quarter after this. So half a lemon total. Just squeeze that in there. Make sure you de-seed the lemon before you squeeze it in there so you don't get seeds inside. And then we're going to pulse this. some water. Um, usually I would say a lot of people like to use um, the Thai coconut water. It's expensive. I just use plain water. Put maybe about four tablespoons in there. You can always add more. Maybe do five. zucchinis. Um, you know, I say a zucchini per person is a serving. So if usually it's just me and my husband, so we do two zucchinis. Okay, then you have a really nice thick kind of pesto. Now we always stir in the olive oil because it's a fragile food. Um, when you pulse things like fragile cold pressed olive oil, you're denaturing its, uh, you know, its, its form. So you're actually removing a lot of the benefits. So I put one heaping tablespoon in there of the olive oil. I 
ideally, if you have a blender, I would use a blender. My blender is not so great, so I just use the food processor. That's why you want to chop your, your garlic really, really fine. Okay, so we'll let that sit. We are now going to do the zucchini noodles, which is really, really fun. Go on eBay, order yourself a zucchini spiraler. I think mine was like $8.99 when I ordered it. Um, basically, it'll just turn any vegetable into noodles. If you don't have a zucchini spiraler, you can use a vegetable peeler. It just takes a long time. So go ahead, put that in there. It's got these suctions so you don't move anything while you spiral. mushroom thing you can decorate the plant the, the plate with and just you know tell your kids it's like a tree or you can give it to the dog it's a nice fibrous snack and the zucchini is great it's water-based it's good for the skin it's raw it's it's just great for digestion you're just gonna go ahead use your spoon or a spatula put the sauce on top Once you get that sauce on there, I always use my hands, and you just stir it on in with your hands. And um, ideally, the zucchinis, if you can leave them at room temperature for eight hours, the air kind of gets inside them and they puff up more like noodles. Remember, raw food is not supposed to meet, be eaten cold from the fridge. It's supposed to be eaten room temperature. That's why, um, you know, a lot of people, if you go to work in the morning, you can Get up, spiral your zucchini, leave it out in a bowl, put it a paper towel over it, come back home from work, make the sauce, and then you've got the whole meal. And it's super fast, super easy. So there we go. We've got that. Then you can just add the Parmesan. Sprinkle a little bit on top. I use a ton of Parmesan. <laughs> it tastes so good. And there you have it. You've got a really quick, easy, healthy meal.